Welcome to another edition of an Aussie Muffinese Motorbike. Today I'm going to fit a cheap eBay special double bubble windscreen. Um, quality is pretty darn good. No? Yeah, pretty darn good. Uh, I'll wait for this fucking piece of shit you feel like. Fucking player wearing a new tray bag with a hat on. Scum. So the quality is not too bad actually. The only. Uh, uh, default, no default, defect would be the little uh, flash that's come through the mould here, which is probably, yeah, it's just peeling off. I'll probably just clean that up with a scalpel. Oh no, I'll just, see that's, there we go. Quality of uh, good mould, and just peel it off. So, yeah, it's not too bad. So, apparently, it's only four bolts, um, which is going to be a T20 Torx. So that's a little star thing, and uh, hopefully it's pretty easy to fit. So we'll see how we go. All right, so it should be only this four bolts here, here, and here. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, so all these bolts have been W engraved on them. Expensive. There's a little plastic washer. So when you take off the bolt underneath them, there's like a little plastic washer. There goes my so uh don't lose that. Alright, so I need to get that bolt down there. So that should just pull out at the top. And that little rubber bit here seems to uh, stick with the windscreen, so everything should be good. I don't know what the other one down there is for, but probably just holds part of the fairing in shark car. Yep. And here comes another one. Oh. Probably do this with a screwdriver, not a rasp, but that's all good. Right. That should be the last screw. Should just slide out. Yeah, that's failing on the frame here. And that bolt holder. Bolt retaining lug, whatever you want to call it. Don't want to scratch because this is the original screen. It is marked BMW. I'll just turn it in. Yep, there's a bit of rubber rubber glove on there. It's coming. One BMW windscreen. Part of the reason why I want to replace it because I want to double bubble so I get more wind resistance. I mean, <laughs> wind resistance, wind clearance. But also, I scratched it up trying to clean it. Okay, now we got the two windscreens off. We've got them side by side here. So obviously, that's the original one because it's still got the grommets in it. And there's the aftermarket one. And you should be able to see there's a height difference with that double bubble. So I'll measure this one, see what kind of height we've got. So what's that? 14 centimetres. Right, let's uh, have a look at the aftermarket one. And we got 16 and a half centimetres. So that's not, not a great deal, but it should help me with the rim deflection, especially with this winter coming up. I might take a couple of videos without the windscreen. Kind of reminds me of a Tuono without the uh, windscreen. Reminds me of a Tuono for some reason. 
not much happening in there. But, uh, okay, so this this bolt here is attaching to the uh, intake little thingamajiggy shroud. Yeah. And obviously that little hook bit goes underneath and in between this plate here and the fairing, the front fairing. So hopefully that's kind of visible. So clearly I've made a mistake by filming on Labor Day. Everyone's outside mowing the lawn with the sniffing, so sorry about that, but what can you do? So here I am at my pool table, pool table, poker table. That's uh, covered obviously, so I'm going to see if I can pull these uh, grommets out. That should just pull out like that. Yep, just like a cookie. They slide out these ones, look like you have to pull them out downwards. So, yeah, like that. So, pull them down. Like that. Shut up! I work a sniffer when I'm not filming. That's cool. It. So, I probably should put a bit of silicon glue on it, but uh, it should be fine. It's just only uh, holding the windscreen on. Alright, so that was. I wonder if there's any difference between the size. So, there's no difference in size, so you can use them on the top or bottom. No difference. So, that should just push in like that. Don't want grass in there. God, I hate whipper snippers. Oh, there's someone else doing it. There's two people whipper snipping at the same time. Yeah, silicon lube would probably help just to uh, push it in there. Make the rubber last a little bit longer, but then you get grease and crap all over your pipe windscreen. That should be fine. So, uh, a little bit loose in there. A little bit loose. A couple of them are loose. The other ones are right. And these ones should just slide. Uh, you know, they just a little bump stop. I thought these were like slide in like this, but obviously not. Done. New windscreen. So I'm going to give that a clean. Hopefully the whip snipper stops and I shall install it. Alright, so I'm running against the clock. Across the street they're using a chainsaw, not a whip snipper. But someone else is using a whip snipper. So I'll quickly fit this. Uh, yeah, I won't use the bolts here because I have to put it in there. And as you know, that is a bath to clean. So clean that first before you put it over the top of the dash cluster. How hard is this going to be to fit? Okay, so I need a bit of bending. Let's seem to get in there. That was just the plastic over that little, say that bit, but down there, that lip going past the, uh, the frame. See it because it's between the thing and the with the fairing and the uh, top bit of that cluster trim. But uh, it's all lining up. Pick 
and bolts. Noisy bastard. So that's in. Let's go more in and lined up. Oh, it's out of the chainsaw. How inconvenient. rubber bit turns inside until the thread bites and then it rips through the plastic and then pulls the plastic tight up against it. Very interesting. Never seen that before. So what I so what I mean is this uh, bit there will squish up and tighten. See as it's uh, been tightened, it's pulling through. Hmm. Very cool. So obviously don't lose these bits, otherwise you'll be using nuts and bolts. And you won't have a BMW torque on it. Torques. Done. Double bubble windscreen. Bit of a packing scratches. I'm not sure if you can see that in the light, but yeah, little scratches, but for about 20 bucks, I think I'm still ahead. Looks pretty good to me. Right, so I'm, race I'm racing against the clock again because they stopped using the chainsaw. So I'll just come over here and show you what I've noticed. The windscreen is no oh, fuck me. The windscreen is not as clear. Little uh, bit glary around here. Might just through the mold, so just be blowing it out. But uh, no, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So uh, for the money, for about twenty bucks, new windscreen. That's clearer. Well, that's uh, not scratched up as much as my original one. It's not bad. So uh, I'll test it out and see how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll zoom up on any motorboat. I'll see you next time.